Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now some people don't know that with the newest version of Android Lollipop, you can actually now record your screen and you don't have to be rooted. There's loads of new applications that are popping up in the Play Store and it's a great way to show off tutorials and new applications without having to root your device. Today we're going to be looking at Screen 5 Plus Pro, so let's take a look. Now in terms of the actual application itself, once you launch it, you're going to be greeted with three options. Record, settings and also exit. Exit is just going to exit out of the application, it's kind of self-explanatory. Record is going to record everything that you show on your screen. Now this can be good and it can also be bad as it will show things like passwords if you are going to be doing some tutorials and things like that. But overall you can kind of blur them out in Final Cut say after you've done the video. Once you go into the actual settings, there's not a whole bunch of settings, it's mainly about the resolution and the quality of the actual video itself. So you can change how you actually encode the video itself if you want to have MPEG or H.264. You've also got the resolution which goes from 426 by 240 all the way up to 1920 by 1080 which is one that I have it on at the moment as it just gives a really crisp view. You've also got the orientation which you can have an auto landscape or portrait. You then also got the bitrate and you can change this to again have a better quality in terms of the video. You can if you wish record sound. Uh, on the Nexus 5 the speaker itself isn't necessarily the best quality so in my instance I'm just going to have that unmute just for the meantime. And you've also got a face cam which is basically a camera image on top of recording. So if you want to record something on your screen but also have yourself being recorded at the same time then you can also do that. You can also hide the notification icon because as soon as you press play it is going to have an icon up in the top right hand corner which you may or may not want to show on your video. You can also show the touches as well so it does have a little dot basically to show when you're going to be touching the screen so that's really good again if you do want to do tutorials. You've also got the output directory to obviously show where it's going to be saved and you've also got stop screen off so finish recording after the screen is turned off. So what that means is instead of going up into your notifications to finish the recording you can just turn off your device. Once you actually click on record you're pretty much ready to go. Everything that I do now is going to be recorded on video and will then get saved into a certain directory which you can access at a later date. I'm just going to kind of move around the operating system real quick just to get a feel for how it looks. Quickly go into Google Now for instance, then go back. And then for me, I actually scroll down from my notifications and you can see here that it says recording. If I just tap on that, it's then going to stop recording and you can see that it is saved straight away. Now the great thing about this is you can access the file pretty much instantly. If I go into my notifications, click on the drop down, you can see that I'm in the video and it already starts to play. And you can see that it looks exactly as it did and the frame rate is incredibly good. And I would say that this is a very useful app. I personally am going to be using it on Copper vs Glass to do things like new apps and just in general tutorials about Android. So if I've got any new launches and things that I want to show you guys, then I'm going to be using this application just to give you an exact look at what I'm going to be seeing. And that's just going to be a better viewing experience for everyone. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass with a quick look at screen recording on Lollipop and I will catch you guys in the next video.